Broken Games HD is now sponsored by Blue Microphones. Whether you're an experienced content creator or just starting out, Blue Microphones has affordable and quality audio equipment to optimize your setup. Visit bluemic.com. All right, what's going on, everybody? So this is going to be my review for the 2015 uh, PlayStation Experience con conference, and I'm not going to be mentioning every uh, single content piece of content that they showed because I believe uh, I feel like a lot of it was filler, a lot of it was uh, crap. Um, mainly in the middle of the conference, towards the end, they started off really well. So I'm not going to be mentioning everything, just the things, uh, the pieces of content that I believe are relevant now right off the bat i'll tell you if i would have traveled for this i would have been upset anybody that actually took the time out you know took the money and actually went to this conference i would want a refund i'm glad i decided not to go and i'm just gonna go to e3 next year once again uh because with what they showed here it's obvious that they are holding out on a lot of good content and there is going to be a lot of the things we didn't see here at E3 because there's a lot of things we expected to see here. And we, I was absolutely sure we would see, you know, even a lot of other journalists in the media, you know, we definitely thought we would see some teaser trailers for some stuff. We didn't see it here. So it'll, it'll definitely be at E3. So if this was like uh, mediocre or average, I think E3 uh, is going to be real good. But that's no excuse for this um this conference being this bad absolutely no excuse for it um so uh like i said i'm only going to be talking about the relevant stuff so they showed the uncharted a uh, little piece of uncharted uh for cutscene with him and his uh brother sam uh you know just uh showing how they how they meet up again giving a little of a little bit of background and exposition and everything like that and they showed that uncharted 4 now has uh uh, some dialogue options uh, in the cutscenes, which is pretty good because we know Uncharted has, you know, these really good cutscenes and really impressive uh, story and narrative. And now uh, you don't have to just sit and watch them the whole time. Now you can interact a little bit. So that was cool. Um, they showed some Ratchet and Clank. Like I said, I've never been a huge fan of Ratchet and Clank, but the gameplay looks good. You know, in my in my past, Ratchet and Clank has always been has always honestly put me to sleep right but platformers as i big as i got older platformers weren't my thing anymore anyway and at you know where i am in my current gaming life platformers are not something that satisfy my gaming need and really uh, you know garner my interest so it's it's you know any platforming game it just has a lack of enthusiasm coming from me by default but the gameplay overall looks good um it's something I would give another shot at least. So they Ratchet and Clank was at least decent content for uh, anybody who's interested, still interested in that type of game. They revealed a new character in Street Fighter V, uh, Yoshinori. I'm pretty sure. No, I think I did say his name right. Yoshinori Ono. Uh, I don't know his. Um, people like his personality. I just find it a little bit strange. He's just a little bit too damn happy all the time i know that sounds weird like why are you mad at a guy being happy all the time but it's coming from me somebody who you almost virtually never see smile so when i see someone just happy and smiling all the time yeah it's a little bit strange to me especially being from brooklyn you know everything like that everybody walks around here with a mean mug you know anybody nobody just around here smiling all the time so yeah i ain't gonna lie to you when i see people smiling it, it's all the time it's a little bit weird to me when i travel out of new york and people are walking down the street just just smiling all the damn time and they look so happy i'm like what the hell are these people smiling about this is it's, it's culture shock to me you know we don't just walk around the street smiling unless unless we actually got a reason right but um yeah, it's I guess that's just a culture shock. Anyway, back to the uh, content. So they showed some Street Fighter V um, gameplay and a new character called Fang. Uh, some Call of Duty news about the Call of Duty League being on PlayStation 4. Um, the PlayStation, the uh, Final Fantasy VII trailer. I was really impressed. They started out this conference really well, and I was like, "Wow, I'm impressed. This is better than I thought it was going to be." Um, that's how they got you, right? So the Final Fantasy VII trailer looked really good. Um, I was shocked. Obviously, they showed gameplay. Nobody expected that, right? We didn't expect to see gameplay probably for maybe not another year or something, right? Um, 
and you can tell it was still in early stages of development because you can tell the frame rate and it didn't look technically sound yet and everything like that so uh but we were shocked that we saw gameplay and these in-game or cgi cutscenes. so it looked really good um it was nostalgic there was the music there was the characters uh barrette cloud um it it, lo it just looked amazing um now we know uh, as they told us before there would be some gameplay changes in final fantasy 7 um it's not going to be turn-based anymore this is like you know real time similar to how it is uh how final fantasy uh 15 is going to be um so they've made that gameplay change but no never nonetheless it still looks great and i'm definitely looking forward to that very excited uh they talked about some star wars uh battle of jakku content battleborn um king of fighters 14 yakuza 5 yakuza 0 uh neo looks really good any of the stuff i just mentioned and i don't talk about is relevant but i don't really have anything to say about it neo looks really good like i've like i like what the first time i saw it a lot of people thought like oh this could be or it reminded us of onimusha uh like onimusha meets, meets dark soul so i'm definitely looking forward to uh onimusha um they showed MLB the show, so that was good for baseball fans. Uh, Destin, like I said, I, I y'all know I hate Destiny. Can't stand the game. I still can't process or fathom how many, why people still love that game or still play it. But y'all know I love racing, kart racers, any type of unrealistic racer or arcade racer. So the Sparrow Racing League looked pretty cool, and that's good content to add for people who still play it. Uh, Nino Cooney, the uh, Nino Cooney 2 was was confirmed and announced. They showed a little bit of that. Uh, the first Nino Cooney was a uh, you know a very loved game on um, uh, PS3, so that was cool for them to uh, show that. And they showed a lot of uh, indies and PS4 VR. See, usually I don't I I will I would usually name the indies one by one and give them their fair shot of being mentioned and talk about it but that's when like the indies are actually worth talking about and they're actually impressive in my opinion but none of these indies or playstation 4 uh vr games that we saw in this conference really impressed me or i feel was really worth talking about like the ones we saw at what, what, what was it what was the last conference uh, we saw some pretty good VR. It was it? It wasn't E3. I forgot what it was. It was one of those one of the previous conferences. I don't know if it was GamesCon or something. Uh, but we saw some pretty good PlayStation VR stuff, and uh, or it might have been Tokyo Game Show. We saw some pretty good PlayStation VR stuff and some you know actually interesting indies. So, but this one, nah. They Sony did a a, a lot of good business in this conference right a lot of the stuff they showed and a lot of the things we saw was good business was good for sony business relationships right developers love sony for what they're doing what they do what they're doing it's great for their relationship and it's great for developers but it's not really good for the hardcore gamers right um this conference wasn't good for hardcore gamers developers especially third-party developers they loved it right and Sony is abs has absolutely won them over, right? Their business relationships are amazing, but th th a lot of this stuff is is a lot of this content is stuff that uh, hardcore gamers do not give a damn about. Um, but they're they're do they're doing business, unfortunately, right now. Um, and Paragon, so Paragon is going to be a MOBA, and just so and I spoke about this before. Uh, Epic Games had contacted me and sent sent me something in the mail. Also, uh, a little teaser about Paragon, and uh, I actually just checked my mailbox, my uh, Gmail, and they're going to. I'm one of the people there are, are they are going to allow to play Paragon early. So I'm going to get to see that game and play that game pretty much uh, before anybody else. So I'm definitely looking forward to that because, um, yeah, no, I don't. I don't play. I've I've dabbled in a few MOBA games but I've never like gotten into any MOBAs because I don't like the the concept of them uh so I was never really excited about the concept of these different MOBAs um but now I could definitely see myself getting in getting into this one especially if I have some time early with it uh but overall this PlayStation conference it was it was pretty overwhelming I thought a lot of it was uh bullcrap 
Um, PlayStation definitely does. Sony has a lot of games, uh, a lot of good games coming out on, on uh, the PlayStation platform, right? This wasn't a good representative of it, but you know, when you actually put together a list of all the uh, first party or second party, uh, you know, content exclusives coming to PlayStation, I've actually like put together a comprehensive list. It's actually really impressive um, and a lot to be excited for. But this conference definitely, definitely didn't represent that. Um, it, it, sometimes it makes me, it does make me wonder a little bit, like what exactly is the point of this Conf this, this conference is like they, they they don't treat this conference like it's for big reveals they it, even though it's their own conference it seems like they'd rather wait for e3 to show off the big stuff right because that's where more people are gonna see it even though this is their own show is like this is just a, a a complimentary show you know an additional just a little assist it's like throwing an assist in it's like hey if we can uh, publicize and talk about our games more by doing an extra conference hell why not and that's pretty much what it's what how they seem to treat this um, but uh, last year's PlayStation experience was definitely better without a doubt but you know putting together the, the you know seeing this list of PlayStation exclusives uh, just to name them real quick you know it's actually it is actually impressive like us like I said uh, Nino Cooney Uncharted 4 Ratchet and Clank Persona 5 The Last Guardian uh, Hellblade Nier Wild King of Fighters Shadow of the Beast Drawn to Death Street Fighter 5 Horizon Zero Dawn MLB The Show Neo Star Ocean Yakuza 6 No Man's Sky Gravity Rush 2 Dreams Detroit even obviously I'm not interested in some of those games that is a impressive library and catalog to be coming out 2016 2017 without a doubt but this conference eh, definitely didn't miss much honestly so um, I'm ready to go to E3 I'm definitely ready for that I'm ready to book my flight you know do all the registration stuff I am definitely ready for that um, so let me know what y'all thought about it. Uh, I, I, you know, I was shocked when it, they didn't show SOCOM. Uh, you know, I, I actually, you know, based on tweets that Yoshida said prior to it, didn't seem like they were going to show it. But it's a huge insult, you know, because when Geo Corsi came out and was talking about all these games uh, that have been requested on uh um, building the list socom was like pretty much the most requested and they, they just it's been it's been it's always the most requested through polls forums um it, everywhere and they just keep like giving it the shaft so it's like crazy disrespectful to socom and all the fans that want it um no god of war reveal not even a teaser we thought we were gonna see that uh no sony uh you know we didn't see the sony ben game um and also, we didn't see the Sucker Punch game. We know Sucker Punch is ready to show a game. But like I said, this is all stuff apparently we are going to see at E3. Um, this this was pretty much third-party stuff, honestly, for the most part. A few, uh, few first-party things, but mainly third-party. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was, over, it was underwhelming. Wish they would have... Uh, feel like they should have at least teased stuff. Because when E3 comes around, you, you can... You can skip the teasing and go right into into the gameplay. That's what I thought would be the perfect setup. Like, hey, at Pete PlayStation Experience, we showed you a teaser, for example, of God of War. Now, if E3 comes around, here's the actual gameplay. I thought that was perfect, but what do I know, right? So, uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen. Let me know what y'all thought about it, and I'm out of here. Peace.